Hello everyone, this is Phenomena here, and today I have yet another LEGO Monkey Kid Story X Reader! Um, so, oh man, I feel like I start every single intro with um, so... <laughs> but anyway, um, I have... I actually just finished, um, my third fanfic for this, um, fandom so far, and I currently have another monkey- another, um, LMK. Um, story currently in the works, but I really wanted to kind of make this because I had the idea of Macaque um, kind of having a thing. Like, I always, it's considered pretty much canon at this point that Macaque has a thing for mangoes, and I think I even heard that his favorite fruits, somewhere in the fandom, I think I heard that his favorite fruits are mangoes and plums. And so I decided to see about making this cute little story based around that idea, because I really like the idea of this story taking place and how my cat could probably react with it. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really cute, and I actually was not anticipating that the story turned out to the length that it, length that it did. It isn't, like, essay-worthy or, like, novel-worthy, but it definitely did turn out longer than I thought it would. Especially because I started off with the basic idea and uh, I kept going and going, but I'm not complaining because I did have a lot of fun making it and it did turn out really cute, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, there is no warning for this other than the fact that I did, unfortunately, make this a female reader, mostly because, um, as far as I know... There are no, well, I think I'll say more at the end of the video, but um, I may make a male-oriented reader story for Macaac later down the line, because I actually do kind of headcanon that he's bisexual, but that's besides the point. I hope that all of you enjoy this story. This is a Macaac X female reader, and it is simply titled Sweet Scent. Macaac was, Macaac, er, your name was out in the marketplace to get some things she was running low on. Snacks, drinks, dinner meals, mangoes from a cack, your name listed off in their head. Last thing she needed was to get some new body wash. Of course, Macaque had thrown out her previous body wash because it was peach scented. Of course, your name chose that particular bottle simply to push his buttons, but she couldn't help but feel a bit bad about it now. Now she was looking at some body washes and found one bottle that caught her eye. Mango and pomegranate, pomegranate scented body wash. Curious, your name picked it up and thought about it. Mangoes and plums were Macaque's two favorite fruits. Some mango body wash may be just enough to make it up to Macaque for the whole peachy scent. But to make it better, your name also spotted some sweet plum and lavender scented lotion. Talk about perfect. Your name purchased the two scented items and rushed her loot back home before Macaque got back got back. He had made it an unspoken rule for himself that he got back home before dark. Your name looked at the sun beginning to set just below the skyline and knew she didn't have much time left. So she picked up her pace back to her apartment. Luckily, your name had gone back with just enough time for a quick shower to try out these new items. She sadly didn't have enough time to unpack the rest of the groceries, but she could handle that later. She immediately grabbed everything she would need for her shower and practically dove into the warm water when it got to the temperature she wanted. Once her lightning-fast shower was done, your name got out and began to change into her lounge clothes. As if on perfect cue, Macaque called out to her. Your name? You home? Your name opened the bathroom door with their laundry in tow and greeted her loving partner. Yeah, was just taking a shower before you got back. She walked past Macaque to take her laundry to her clothes basket. When, when Macaque got a w caught a whiff of your name as she walked past, he almost froze to the spot. He knew your name had brought him mangoes, but the scent of mangoes and plums were all over her. As Macaque was trying to get his brain to work again, your name came back over to him and hugged him from behind. The scent was incredibly strong, and Macaque had the smallest of smiles on his face. Did you get a new body wash? Macaque said with a small laugh. He was really struggling to hide the giddy feeling in his chest. Yeah. Your name squeezed him a little tighter. Do you like it? Macaque spun around and hugged your name tightly. He placed his, he his head in the crook of her neck and took in the scent, feeling as if he had just taken a breath of fresh air for the first time. You kidding? I think I just fell in love with you all over again. 
Yerne was surprised at that statement, as Macaque was normally not the type to get all mushy or open with his feelings. But based on the bright red blush on her face, it was safe to say that she was not complaining. Love you too, dork, your name said, wrapping her arms around him in turn. The end. I now realize, looking at the recording time, that this is a little bit shorter of a story than I am normally used to. I tried to make these videos a little bit longer, at least in terms of the story. Um, but the reason I didn't make it a gender-neutral reader was because I wasn't sure... I mean, you guys out there, you males at birth, you are more than welcome to correct me, but I'm pretty sure that there are no mango or, like, lavender or, like, these type of scented products for guys that I'm aware of. Most of the men's body washes and body lotions that I see are not like that. They're kind of all just, like, vanilla or something. Um, so I kind of just decided to do one female reader, and I am sorry about that, but I think it, well, hopefully one won't hurt and everything, and I could make another story specifically for the guys at some point later down the line. Um, but I really enjoyed how this turned out. Also, with the fan art that's in these, in the Dipper video and in the, um, and in this Macaque video, I am going to be linking them into the description below. The fan art in this video is especially really good, and I love the Macaque fan art a lot. So go check out the artist and everything. Go check them out, give them a lot of love, and, uh, the Dipper, the Dipper video, I unfortunately couldn't really find an exact source other because the person who posted it on Reddit was uh, the friend of the artist. But go show these two people lots of love because they did a fantastic job. Um, but with everything being said and done, I think that's it. Um, thank you all so very much for watching this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the two videos that have come out tonight. And I, and I will be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.